motion on the baseline is the three points. And wow, my goodness, Carl Guy remaining in the zone as he connects. Are you aware which player in European basketball people have been comparing you the most yeah, this J last year? JC Carroll? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get what that do you think of this comparison? I think it's a good comparison. He can shoot the crap out of it. Really good player. Um, you know. Uh, tough and, and, and gritty, and, and I like that. Um, I like to think that um, I, I'm a little bit more of an all-around player. Um, you know, I like getting assists. I like getting dirty on defense and, and taking charges and doing whatever it takes to help the team win, and uh, I can put the ball on the floor too. So not that he can't do those things, but um, I think he was more of a specialized, like, straight-up shooter, and I like to, you know, think I know I can shoot it, and that's what I do best, but I think I can do more. Speaking of it, you gave me the assist. You are well known for your shooting skills. Uh, everyone knows um, how well you can rain down shots from every range uh, on the court. Which part of your game do you think that tends to be overlooked, especially because people focus so much on your, how you, well you shoot yeah, the ball? I, I mean, I would say probably my passing because um, I'm just, I feel like I'm a high IQ player and I understand that whenever I have the ball, the defense is very focused on me, which means my teammates are open. I feel like I've already, Kind of have a rapport with uh, with Lasord and with Olic, um, just being able to short roll passes and, and alley oops. So, people also compare you with Jesse Carroll. I like to think because they see yourself as someone who can long term make also have a long successful career in Euroleague. Mm -hmm. Maybe establish himself on a team, win things. Do you see yourself uh, perhaps becoming the Jesse Carroll of yeah. Panathinaikos? Yeah, I love I love winning. Um, and, and that's what I'm about. I don't care if I score one point or 100 points in a game. I just want to win, and, and we have a really good opportunity to do that here with Panathinaikos. You took almost 10 uh, attempts per game last season with uh, Jovedut in both EuroCup and in uh, ACB. You were playing uh, around over 22 to 23 minutes uh, per game. You had a license to shoot, a license to take uh, freedom, uh, to have a shooting freedom on offense. How do you, to ad how do you adjust your style uh, your game to a different kind of system. There are many quality players, many players who mm -hmm. can score, many players who can take the initiative. So uh, how do you adapt to this in this kind of environment where you may not get this kind of shooting freedom and uh, opportunities? Yeah, I think that's where being an all-around player comes into play is that, you know, some games is not going to be my night. Luca is going to be killing or Wancho or Costas or whoever. Um, and I need to learn to adapt. I still got to shoot when I'm open. Me being on the court, is a threat because they're not going to help off of me. So, you know, just whatever it takes to win. Maybe that'll be my day where I'm just playing defense and running corner to corner, and that's fine as long as we're winning. Heard, I just like winning. So if we can get the seventh star, I think that's what that's what we're here to do, win the Greek League as well. Every Everything we play, we want to win, and, um, and, that, and that's what we're about. How do you think uh, did it help you having uh, your debut experience in Europe, playing the, uh, arguably the best domestic league in Europe, Asabe? Uh, playing against uh, top-notch teams, Barcelona, Real Madrid, and now, uh, now after a year that uh, you were constantly improving, you had perhaps your best performances in all season in the playoffs, some spectacular shooting nights. How do you think uh, you evolved through the season and you became more better and prepared for the EuroLeague Challenge, the next step? Yeah, I like to, uh, you know, I like to get stronger as the season goes on. I think that says a lot about my work ethic and my conditioning. I don't really get tired and, and I use that to my advantage. And so, um, you know, I started to find a rhythm and a groove uh, towards the end of the season, like you were saying. So, in uh, ACB is, you know, known as the best domestic league. So, um, a lot of schematics went behind it on each team and um, a lot of good players and, and good teams, like I said. So, um, I think it'll help me prepare for, for EuroLeague and, and for the Greek League. You were a player that uh, arrived at the NBA carrying a lot of accolades from the college and not only you and the skill you are most famous of, we talked about it, shooting and the NBA, it is a shooter's league. You were a player who can shoot three-pointers unconsciously and they, in general a player who can consistently shoot three-pointers manages to get contracts mm -hmm. in the NBA. Considering all this, why do you think you didn't manage to establish yourself in the NBA? Um. You know, you're going to have to ask the NBA that or the GMs I was with. I'm not 100% uh, sure. I know that I did everything right or that, that I could do to, um, to make a team, make a roster. Anytime I played more than five minutes, it was usually a good outing. Um, and so, um, yeah, you know, I, I feel comfortable. That's part of why I came overseas last year because I felt comfortable with 
I know I can play in the NBA. I've done it. I've shown I've scored 17 multiple times. So, you know, I, I did my part and, you know, it didn't catch, it didn't take, so that's fine. I'm going to come over here and I, I just want to play, win, and, and, and yeah. I think everyone's goal is to play in the best league you can, which is the NBA. But like I said, I'm super secure in the fact that I proved myself that I can. Um, and if they don't want me, that's their problem. So I'm, I'm very content. I love traveling the world and playing basketball and getting paid to do it. So that's why I'm here. You have talked uh, a lot about your past battles with anxiety and uh, overcoming them. Uh, how's that, how has that uh, toughened you up throughout your career? Yeah, I think uh, putting a name to anxiety, like understanding, like everyone goes through it, different levels, you know, some's minor, some's major. And I've been on both ends of the spectrum. So um, I think putting a name to it kind of takes away the power and you start to figure out uh, what works for you. Some people it's therapy, some people it's listening to music, some people it's, you know, attacking it head on, whatever it is to, to get you through that. You, you start to figure that out as you get older. And I'm always in pressure situations uh, playing basketball. Uh, you know, I'm sure I'll be in a lot this year playing in front of these fans and, and, and in this league. So um, I think, like you said, constantly putting myself in these situations and putting a name to it is kind of what's helped me, you know, get over it. You played for fans that at the time at college, they went over too passionate. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean, there were some threats. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was a bunch of death threats after we lost my sophomore year in the tournament. It was an upset for those yeah, who don't yeah, didn't yeah, know. Yeah. Super, it was 16, first time 16 to, to the first team, yeah. Um, and so going through that definitely toughened me up and, you know, I was in a dark place for a couple weeks and then I found my groove just like anything. You go through a breakup, time heals all, and um, you know, as you grow up and mature, you, you figure it out. More and more people uh, are now paying extra attention to mental health when it comes to, to players, and players who have been struggling with these kind of issues are beginning to speak more openly, like Ricky Rubio, for example, mm -hmm. this uh, summer. How do you feel watching that as someone who's been through these situations? Yeah, yeah, no, I feel for everyone, not just athletes, but specifically athletes, because sometimes you can be minimized to just a number on your jersey and that people forget that you're, you're a player, especially in the States, there's a bunch of gambling, so they really just like hone in on In college basketball, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so, um, you know, I know Ricky and he's a great dude. And so, I, you know, for him to be able to understand that he needs to take a break, like, I'm all for that. I'm, I'm huge, like do what works for you. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you don't, don't. Like everyone's different. So you may be going through something bigger than me, but you handle it better than I handle a smaller problem. So just whatever works for you is, is how you need to go about it. And don't be ashamed, whatever that outcome is.